Eight serious diseases that are signaled by our skin. Your skin is the main indicator that your body may be experiencing some health problems. That doesn't mean to just pay attention to your acne. It goes way beyond that. People usually ignore when something appears on their skin unless it makes them look ugly. We're so caught up with looking our best and feeling our best that we sometimes neglect the minor things that appear on our body. But the longer you ignore, the worse it gets. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, what are some of the signs that appear on our skins that can give off some red flags? Well, believe it or not, there are a number of signs that you should be aware of. Now, keep watching for some of the most common skin problems that can appear if there is something off about your body. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number eight, dark spots. Dark spots popping up on your skin is not supposed to be a natural aging thing. It actually could be a symptom of adrenal insufficiency, also known as Addison's disease. Those who do suffer from Addison's disease feel serious pain in their muscles and joints after losing their appetite. In addition, they have low blood pressure and even low blood sugar. These symptoms can be harmful, so be on the lookout. Dark spots on our skin can also be caused by a number of things. For example, some people develop dark spots on their skin as they age, known as sunspots or liver spots. These spots are caused by long-term exposure to the sun. Some dark spots, though, can be a cause of melanoma, which is the deadliest type of skin cancer. Number seven, vitiligo. Ever notice those people who lose pigmentation on their hands? Those white patches, well, that's called vitiligo. It happens when there's a certain area of your skin that turns white because the cells no longer make pigment. According to health specialists, vitiligo develops when melanocyte cells are killed by the body's immune system. It can affect any part of a person's body, including their hair and the inside of their mouth. This occurs when the cells, which are responsible for melanin, are no longer functioning. And it is more noticeable in those who have darker skin. One of the main signs and symptoms of vitiligo is loss of skin color. This usually occurs in patches, the discoloration first appears on areas of the skin which are exposed to the sun. These include the face, lips, feet, arms, and hands. Other symptoms include graying of your eyelashes, scalp, hair, eyebrows, or even beard. People with vitiligo may also notice loss of color along the tissue in the inside of their nose or mouth, as well as a change of color in a person's inner eyeball. Depending on the severity and type of vitiligo one has, someone may experience discoloration all over their body, on one side or part of their body, or only a certain area of a person's body. If you notice that this is happening to you, make an appointment with an endocrinologist or dermatologist. Do you know what excessive sweating could say about your health? Well, make sure you keep watching so you can find out. Number six, skin rash. It's pretty basic knowledge that a skin rash means that something's up with your body. People typically get rashes after they eat a certain food, take a new medication, or even have a contagious disease like chickenpox. Regardless of what it may be, it's smart to go to the doctor and keep an eye on your health when you notice a major skin rash that isn't going away. It can lead to something pretty serious, like Stevens-Johnson syndrome or Lyell's syndrome. Number five, swelling. Swelling or edema is a medical term for when our body parts begin to swell. This can occur all over the body or only in small areas of the body. This occurs when our small blood vessels begin to leak fluid into our nearby tissues. Some of us swell up from time to time, but if you notice that you're becoming inflamed every day, you should go see an endocrinologist because this could be a sign of hypothyroidism. It's pretty common, but it's not something that you should joke about. Hypothyroidism is a condition that happens when the thyroid gland doesn't produce a sufficient amount of hormones. Some other symptoms include dry skin, face, limb edemas, hair loss, fragile nails, and weight gain. 
You should also keep in mind that swelling can occur for a number of other reasons. For example, when you eat a particularly carb-heavy meal, your body may hold on to water weight. This could cause inflammation, but don't worry, this inflammation goes down in a few days. If you notice unusual and recurring inflammation, then it may be a cause for worry. Number four, moles. Doctors and researchers say there are various reasons why our bodies produce new moles, one being basic heredity. Usually, moles can be harmless, but if you have a bunch that grow on your skin fairly quickly, are painful, or change in color and size, it could be a sign of an underlying health issue. Number three, acne. We're all pretty familiar with acne and there are different reasons why we get them. Too much skin oil that clogs facial pores, hormone imbalance or digestion problems. Acne is always a consequence. If you wanna get rid of it, use proper facial skincare. A dermatologist may be able to help you with a form of treatment. There are many reasons why people get acne breakouts. One of the main reasons people get breakouts is due to the fluctuating hormone levels. It occurs when the hair follicles in a person's face or other part of the body becomes clogged up with dead skin cells and oils. This can then create blackheads, pimples, or even whiteheads. These appear most commonly on a person's face, upper back, chest, forehead, or shoulders. Number two, flaking. Why does this happen? It can be due to a vitamin deficiency, a hormone imbalance, an allergic reaction, and a few other diseases. When it's intense and it comes with other symptoms, it can be a sign of a serious disease. One such example of diseases, which results in flaky skin, according to the Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center, G-A-R-D, is peeling skin syndrome. Peeling skin syndrome is a type of genetic disorder, which causes a person's skin to continuously peel off. People who suffer from this disease also experience frequent reddening and itching of their skin. This typically starts early in life, like right after birth, but it is also possible that someone can develop these conditions later on in life. Now that you know about some of the serious signs and health issues that could be signaled by our skin, here is what excessive sweating could mean about your health. Excessive sweating could be a result of Graves' disease. This is an autoimmune disease that affects your thyroid. As a result, the skin becomes thinner and sometimes always itches. There are many different symptoms of Graves' disease, including tremors in the hands or fingers, anxiety, irritability, bulging eyes, fatigue, frequent bowel movements, and more. People who have Graves' disease can also experience a multitude of complications. This can include complications during pregnancy, which can include miscarriage, poor fetal growth, preterm birth, and more. Graves' disease can also lead to heart disorders, brittle bones, and more. So, do you experience any of these health issues? It's important to stay on top of your health and notice any strange or unusual changes in your skin or health to ensure that you have not developed any kind of illness. If you notice any sudden changes in your body, be sure to take the right steps to ensure that you get checked out and get treated properly. Remember, your health is always number one. What kind of skin issues have you experienced before that was a result of a health condition? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.